By the way, guys, one thing that you realise, and please, um, have any of you, including yourself, please come out and say, have I, have I told you, any of you that you're going to be doing a, a, a testimonial up here? Yes or no? No. no. Huh, so he doesn't know what the fuck I'm going to ask him. He's scared shitless. <laughs> um, but I do this on purpose because I want you to get the real account of it. And if something's wrong, guess what I do? I grab it, I get the feedback, and I fix it myself. That's how we design our programs. I need to, I need to design a, pro a product for the market versus the market. Me tell them what they need, what they want, what they need. I need to find out what they want. Does that make sense? Yeah. What we have is we've got what's called mastermind days. Mastermind days, I'll tell you how they work. In Australia, we charge the mastermind days because are they pretty intensive? Um, are they intensive? I think that's an understatement. <laughs> One to um, 10, how intensive? 15. <laughs> One to 10, how intensive? Scream it out. Yes. How intensive? Everyone hearing this? No. Loud, give him a mic. Someone, next mic, bring another mic. I want this to go through. I want, the, I want everybody to get an idea of what a day is, a real full-on advanced day is. Get a mic. I want a number, one to 10. 10, ten. completely, yeah. One to 10. If it could go higher, higher, 10. One to 10. 10. One to 10. 10, you don't have time to pee. Yeah. <laughs> And that's not a joke, you bastard. It was a 10. It took my life. <laughs> 10. Yeah. Um, tell me this. What do you believe the lessons that you got from that one day? It's called a mastermind class because that's all we do. We just go intense into where you're at. Or if you haven't got a business, we make one up. Yeah? We, and you have to decide. And you might go, oh, but I haven't decided to now. What's going to make me decide? You will decide. Does that make sense? Because sometimes if you don't know how to decide, how do I make you decide if you're not sure about two things? What do I give you? A what? What do I give you? If you a coin. I give you a coin, I go flip. <laughs> That's pretty unemotional, yes. Sometimes you need to make a decision and you're just bad at making decisions, so we'll make one for you. Does this make sense? We cut all the bullshit out. Yeah? Tell me something. You were going down a path for how many years in your business? About two years. Good. My opinion, was it going to be incredibly successful and you're going to take over the world, yes or no? You said it's going to be fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Two years. <laughs> Dad, the dream. That's <laughs> square one. We had a few laughs that day. Um, not on the business, by the way, because that, that's never a good situation when that happens. But from my point of view, that's an exciting moment because you go, shit, at least I'm going to stop wasting time or wasting my time and start getting involved in something that's going to make my money. What do you reckon from a dollar value and I, over five years, what would that day have represented to you? That is, oh, that's infinite. That there, that one moment where you broke me down, um, it's changed my life. It really has. This week has been a different type of week for me altogether. You know, I've never been so focused in my life. Can I ask you something else? Now that you're coming up with a new business, do you have a structure on what you're looking for? Yes or no? 100%. Much, much clearer clarity. For me, it's more about clarity. From before, I was just a bit all over the place. Clarity's you know, not just for him, is it? By a show of hands. It's just about for everybody. Yeah, I mean, I was a little bit all over the place trying to do this, that, this, that, this, that. Didn't really have a clue what the hell I was doing myself, to be honest. But... The clarity that you gave me, or what you were saying to me, it made me develop that clarity in such a way where I've been like a man possessed this week. You know? <laughs> um, we give you a framework that if your business is there, you just adapt your business to that framework. And if your business isn't there, at least you know how to start up a business, one that will look like one and will be able to build you the wealth that you need. Does that make sense? Yeah. And we give you a framework, not a generalistic framework. Get you up and do it. Make sense? The advantage at the moment with the program is because this is our initiation class, guess what? I get to work on yours. When they become much, much bigger, you will sometimes get up and do the hot seating, but you know what? It's going to be a lot more difficult in a year's time. Can everyone appreciate that? Yeah. 600 people, it's going to be hard to get through 600 people in two days. Who would agree with that? Yeah. You get that opportunity and we break it down and we go, yay or nay, or let's change this or let's not change that. Would that be useful, yes or no? Now that you're building it, 
are you a lot more confident that what you're building now has a possibility of making a lot of money? That is an understatement. Again, um, you know, like I said, the clarity, now I've got a clue. Whereas before, I thought I had a clue. I mean, I've just got this big thing about something that I call pissing in the wind, where, you know... No one's I'm, got that, have they? <laughs> but I'm, I'm trying to, you know, find where I need to do what I'm trying to do, but I'm all over the place. And I think that, okay, I know what I'm doing. I think, yes, you know, I, I've, you know, this time now, right, I know exactly what it takes, blah, 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 blah. Come to Wilson, I'm still pissing in the wind. So now I've, I really, really, really understand exactly what it is that I need to do to get results. Like, simple as that. So now I can now go away and I can apply that and I can get results. Tell me this. The other people that were up there that we got up on the table, because his story is not unique. Um, everybody went through their own stuff during the day. Um, the other individuals that got up that day, did you learn a lot from me breaking down their businesses? 100%, yeah. Definitely. Because you've got to know the questions to ask. And when you start knowing the questions to ask your own business or where you are, you change it and you start adapting into a business that can actually grow, not one that you're, that you're there and you're actually just an employee of your own business. Yeah, that you're working hard, but you're just an employee, you might as well work for someone and make more money. Does that make sense? So you learn a lot from other people, you got a lot of value. Can we put our hands together for him, please? Thank you, Chef. Appreciate it. Much by the way, I, I see a lot of people and, and it's interesting, I, after a while, like I said, within 20 minutes I can pretty much tell whether you've got the stuff to make it or not, you just can. I've um, done this long enough. Jay's got the stuff to make it, no doubt about it. Did you, did you ever see just the focus that he has when he went, okay, that happened, that happened. On the day he was a bit resistant to the change, was he not, guys? <laughs> he just kept going on and on and he could make it happen. I just went on and on and told him, grill the what? Fish. I told him, grill the what? Fish. Did I not, Jay? But he's easy because he's got the attitude there. All we needed to do was get over that stuff about that he was getting it wrong and feeling bad that he spent so much time with it. So he had a, he had a decision to make. What did he have to make? Decision. Was he going to continue running down this path that definitely wasn't going to work or was he going to say, let's rip the band out of it, start something else that works? Make sense? And for many of you, by the way, I'm not going to lie to you. Um, if you join us, I'd probably say at least half of you will probably end up having to make that decision. The great thing about it is you probably won't waste the next 10 years following a business that doesn't work for sure. Make sense?